Torch Runners, please welcome Special Olympics Global Ambassador Maureen McCormick. Thank you. First of all, I just have to thank all of you for your service. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, don't you love when you go somewhere and you meet people and you're talking about your why and what matters to you? and you feel so inspired and you're not going to give up. You're going to keep forging ahead and fighting. Um, well, that's how I feel after meeting everyone that I have met here. Truly, um, I'm just so inspired by all of your whys and why you are here. Um, I love this movement. I love it. I want to tell you my why. I have a brother, Denny, who is now 72 years old. When he was born in 1951, um, a little bit after he was born, the doctors told my parents that he should be put in an institution. They said that he should be put away, um, not seen, that he probably wouldn't live very long, that he would never amount to anything and that it would be too much of a burden for my mom and dad. So, that's what they told people back then. That's what they told them. My mom and dad said no. And my father, who was a school teacher, decided to start teaching special education. So that's what I grew up with. Um, it was really hard, though. I remember. A lot of people staring at Denny all the time and wondering what was wrong with him and calling him names, bullying him. Denny would come home most days from school crying. But he never, he never gave up. He just opened his heart to the world. He embraced everybody and loved everyone. It was, it was really wonderful to grow up in a home where, um, you know, my father, like, was kind of at the forefront of, of starting, you know, things in the school systems and whatnot, but he was passionate about it. He cared so much. And... One of the greatest things my father ever told me, because I didn't really understand certain things, was he said, Maureen, Denny feels everything that you feel. And it was a light that went off in me, and it changed me forever. And he truly is my hero, and so are all of you Special Olympics athletes. You are my heroes. Loretta Claiborne, I have to tell you, I had a real surprise tonight when I walked in here because I was looking for my name tag, trying to see where I was sitting at the table. And next to my name, I saw Loretta Claiborne, and I thought, oh, no way is she here. I'm such a fan of hers. She's just, I have so much respect for you, Loretta. You're such a fighter. You've inspired me so much. And 
I'm sitting next to you. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, so anyway, it was, it was so hard to see what I saw growing up with. And then I remember when I was a teenager, I heard about Special Olympics. I had the great privilege to meet Eunice Shriver. Um, and, and I remember taking my brother, Denny, he would volunteer with me and cheer everybody on. He loves cheering on people. And I just, I felt like I was home. I felt like we all understood each other. I felt this, this beautiful, just one of the greatest feelings of my life. And um, I remember actually, I mean, we're here with the torch run and I remember Muhammad Ali carrying a torch and the torch just was so symbolic to me um, of hope. And I truly believe that we should never, ever, ever let that flame die. We have to keep it burning. And all the Special Olympic athletes, Loretta, my brother, you are all a light in this world. And this world desperately, desperately needs your light to be a better, more beautiful, kind, inclusive world where we respect one another and help one another. So, um, I just have to say that I love the law enforcement torch run conference that I have been at. This is my first one, and I've never felt so protected in my life. Truly, actually, it's true. Um, Chief, it has been an honor to meet you and your wife who started this. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. What a beautiful, beautiful movement. You have raised over $1 billion that has changed lives worldwide, bringing awareness to these amazing Special Olympic athletes and their gifts to us all. So thank you. Thank you. And, and, you know, talking to you, I feel, I feel your passion. And I'm just thrilled that I've been able to be here and, and be a part of that. Your fundraising efforts are critical. I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Let's pass it on, right? Let's pass it on. Thank you so much.